Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am doing a little bit of a different kind of video today. I am explaining why I would pay probably $200 for a video game. And it's really simple when you break it down to how many hours you're actually playing that game and you break it down to a price per hour of entertainment. So if you think about something like going to the movies, it could easily cost you, you know, at least $10 just for the entrance into the movie. And then if you get any food or anything like that, and maybe it's a two hour movie. So minimum bear costs, you're talking about $5 an hour for your entertainment. And same thing with if you go to like a theme park or any kind of like event sort of thing that you do like that, if you divide the, <laughs> the time of the event by the price or the price by the time, it's just not gonna add up. So what I did was I took a video game purchase on the Switch. So recently I bought Pokemon Sword for the Switch and it was $60. And so if I take the $60 and divide by how many hours I have played so far, which is a lot, then it breaks down to like cents per hour. And when you compare that to going to the movies or going miniature golfing or, you know, anything that you would do like that for fun, it just blows it out of the water. So uh, I got the $200 mark just kind of randomly, but I mean, it works with cell phones too. A lot of people, if you ask someone, uh, how much money would I have to give you for you to not use your cell phone for a month? They would come up with some astronomical number but their monthly payment for them to actually keep their cell phone for that month is drastically lower than their price to go without it for a month. And so it's just kind of weird things like that where you think about um, how much would I pay, how much would someone have to pay me to not use this for a month or X amount of time, or how much entertainment am I getting out of it, and how many hours of entertainment am I getting out of it. So different video games, obviously, you can play for a different amount of hours and depending on the playability and post game and all of that stuff, that all comes into account. But for your average video game, if you paid $60, you're probably gonna get at least 60 hours out of the video game. And so that would be a dollar per hour of entertainment value. And a lot of things don't even come close to stacking up to that. So just something for you guys to think about. Uh, leave a comment below what you guys do for entertainment and how much uh, value you guys get out of it. So the, the entertaining thing that you do, how much it costs and how many hours of entertainment value it gives you. And let me know in the comments what your number is.